Harlan Eustis was excited about the surprise 40th birthday party he was throwing for his wife in 24 hours. We went to the whole courtyard at the Buffalo Club. It'll be about 100 people. Kumamoto oysters, no crabs, lobsters. He wasn't taking off menu items to show off. He was genuinely excited about the party he was giving his wife. She doesn't know anything about it. She thinks we're having dinner with his brother and his wife. <laughs> <laughs> I liked Harlan, but nobody else liked him except Player X. He played tight. Uh, full didn't give a lot of action, and always got his money in good, which means he was running the odds. 5,000 to call. No. In other words, he was playing poker, and the others were gambling. And he won. By midnight, Harlan had tripled his original $50,000 buy-in. But everything came off the rails with one hand. And that's how it happens. That's how you go full tilt. Harlan the best player at the table, the best player at most tables, was about to get bluffed off the win by, of all people, Bad Brad. How? Because Harlan had never played with Brad before and didn't know yet that Brad was bad. Harlan's got a boat, nine's full. Brad's got nothing, but his pre-flop betting made it look entirely accidentally like there was a chance he had pocket kings. 20,000. Which, if true, would give him the better full house. Brad's counting off 20,000, which means he's gonna call. And Harlan knows that if Brad's gonna call and not raise, it means he didn't have the boat. And he's betting a high two pair, probably kings and queens. But then instead of calling the bet, Brad pushes $72,000 into the pot. Come on. Harlan looks at Brad. Every tell Harlan knows about, carotid artery pumping, stiff hands, Brad's doing the opposite. Brad's betting represented a huge hand by calling on the flop, check raising the turn and bombing the river. Of course, Harlan didn't know that Brad didn't know what any of that meant. So Harlan, always a good sport, said, Nice, Brad. I'm laying this down. As he tossed in what he didn't realize was the winning hand. Brad tosses in his cards too, and one of them flips over and Harlan sees. You didn't have pocket kings? I didn't have any kings, except the one in the middle. <laughs> you had two pair? I had one pair, the nines in the middle. Thank you. It wasn't even that it was that much money. Harlan only lost about 40,000 on the hand, but a circuit breaker blew and Harlan was out for blood now. Everyone's. <laughs> 